forefront of change has been how watch brands continue to explore and use new materials. Around the turn of the 21st century, the exploration into new materials for the watch industry really started taking off. One of the very first materials that was explored by several companies was silicon or silicium. They were looking for a material that was light, was hard, that was non-ferrous, and that really required no lubrication. And these four important points are crucial to what watchmakers and the developers of watch movements have been struggling with for literally hundreds of years. It is an internal material. You won't find it on the outside of the cases where you will with sapphire, for example, or uh, ceramic or proprietary alloys that a lot of these companies are using, whether it's Hublot or Patek Philippe or whomever that company is. In early 2000, Ulysse Narn really sort of pioneered a product that would eventually end up in a lot of their existing collection. And this material and these movement components are something that the watch industry has slowly but surely accepted as a substitute for traditional alloys that have, again, plagued you know, watchmaking to some degree. The downside to the use of silicon in movement components is that it may not answer all the questions that they have been struggling with consistently. One of the difficulties in using silicon as a movement component is that it is very brittle. It can break. Watchmakers are looking for solutions for these problems, and so far, silicon really does seem to be the material to answer the questions that these watch companies and watchmakers so desperately want to find solutions to. Most consumers don't seem to be bothered by the use of new technologies in their watches, which is a, certainly a good thing for most brands. When Yulis Narden in 2001 introduced the Freak, it was the very first watch that introduced these silicone components. So in the 21st century, silicone has been perhaps the most widely recognized material for advancing watchmaking. And it may not be the end of the pursuit for pushing chronometric endeavor and pushing excellence by these watch brands. I'm John, and this was Watch Material Exploration Silicone. Thank you.